Yo, what is up everybody? This is Cushion Tech here and today I am gonna be talking to you about like free about like f freelancing and business ideas for any developer or like any programmer or, or like any like computer science student who either wants to make m extra money on the side or is currently unemployed and needs to make money until they can get a get a job or they can like or like they can let's see um or like they can let's see do other things related to their development and like help them boost their resume and like all that like for example like if you if computer science has the has also has also the most freelancing and business ideas for ideas out of any other major so let's begin and Let's begin. Let's see another good option for freelancing with computer science or for developers to freelance is to develop and sell websites for and to others. Like for instance, if anyone wants a website created, they don't and they don't know how to code or like they don't know how how to program, they can just for their either business or just for personal preferences. Are their personal personal preferences or for business preferences or any reason they can let's see hire let's see any, like a private web developer and like make and like pay them money to and to let's see create their websites create their websites and like to become to do that you can just create start your own website and your and, and advertise it on social media saying oh like I, I'm willing to, if anyone needs any developers for their web, want to develop any website of theirs, there's call me, but, but, but the price, but it's going to cost money to do so. An, a, another good way to make, like, to freelance as a developer or, like, or like any good business ideas to sell software to, to create and develop and sell software for and to others and like which is developing and creating softwares for others is all is known as software as a serve software software as a service aka SaaS and like and if you want to make sell it and make money out of out of it you're gonna have to either create like a subscription plan from it where people can like either or pay you like monthly bills for your like subscription like for a, a good SaaS app is like some like kind of like let's see di diet cow let's see diet teller or like good software is that can keep like your health maintained and your like keep track of your health and give you you do it that's a good SaaS. that's a good SaaS app where everyone can get subs premium so where another option is you can either let's see like it can cost like let's say twenty dollars if, if for like forever usage though and it costs money you can just simply pay it like that though instead there there could be non-subscription ways of doing it it's like for example you can like pay twenty dollars and pay twenty dollars for it and like purchase it and purchase the app app which without like with no subscriptions let's see another good way to to freelance and, and another business idea as a developer is to help people with any like tech tech tech, tech technical problems or like technical related stuff like like similar to how like an IT de IT desk person works like Let's see, IT student assistant work. They can like set up Wi-Fi for others. They could set up path Wi-Fi for others as good as another good. Like you can just like have your like mini business where like you can help help people. Like you can help people. People can pay you pay you to like to tr to with technical support to like will help you with your technologies and like such as like setting up your Wi-Fi password, such as setting up your setting like let's see setting up your computer for 
scratch, setting up what's the your, the settings on your computer and like other technical related stuff support. And they can pay you every time for each task you do, they can pay you money. Let's see if any, like if anyone, you can have like your own mini business where like if anyone's like, like having technical difficulties at your on their like technology or any devices they can contact you and you and you like you can debug their problems and like you can find out what's wrong and troubleshoot them and for like and prevent and you can also prevent them those problems from happening for every like time you trouble troubleshoot a problem they'll have to charge you certain amount of they'll have to charge you like certain amount of money because like because let's see uh because you don't want to do it for free. You need some money, and they have to do it. You're, all the hard work you'll do, you need deserve some, some like compensation or benefits from the from all the hard work you get, and like all that. Uh, other people can learn them. They're themselves though troubleshoot stuff themselves though, but they don't have time to learn learn it their themselves, or they have like prob like let's see learning disabilities or autism or ADHD, and they have. Tr trouble some people have trouble some people are are dis disabled so that's why they need to call other people to troubleshoot their problems like you can they can call your number and, and like you can troubleshoot the problems for them let's see another good freelance uh freelancing option and business option is to do is just, like you can develop games on the side and like you can like develop game like any type of game like a video game or a mobile game on the side and like you can like and like you can publish it to the app store or like any other store or you can like give it to other people and like you can let's see give it to other people and and all that because the more pe the downloads there are on a game the more money it makes through ads and through revenue and and I have a friend who, like, let's see, is a free. My friend is a freelance game designer and a game developer. He he currently studies civil engineering. At, civil engineering, though, though, but like, on his free time, just to make extra money on the side, he decides to to create Unity games such as Upstream. Don't don't forget to download Upstream or Space Invaders. Those are my friend's game. And don't forget to. My friend is. Game development business is Brady Reese Game Development. Let's see another good way to make money on the side and uh, money on the side and and freelance and have a good biz business idea as a developer is to is to create and sell courses. is to create and sell courses for other people because like anyone can can create a course of their own and like post it on like online and like the more people who download your course the more you can do it but but you have to make it make them charge money for it like for example if you make a course like 399 339.99 for every like for every like course for every down person who purchases your co course their money let's see goes into your bank account the money they paid goes directly into your bank account and like creating and selling courses is a is a good way to like let's see make money on the side let's see another good way to let's say make money on the side is to repair computers for no for other people like and start start a private like business where like you can like repair computers for other people other people can contact you by saying oh i need a computer repaired and like oh i need a computer repaired and all that so i needed to like and like uh, so like once when you repair the computer they'll you'll charge them the specific amount of money depending on how severe the damage was if the damage wasn't that severe you charge them less though but if the damage was so much severe you you let's see uh you have to charge them a lot a lot depending on the severity of the damage 
it did. And charge and repairing computers isn't bad. All that you need to do is just like like make sure the computers work well and good. For those of you who wanna for, for those of you who wanna freelance with with cybersecurity, this is a perfect opportunity for you because like so many computers these days are being infected by like computer viruses and like they need like cybersecurity professionals to like to like per, to like re, let's see restore the computers and like remove the viruses that are infected with it and to do that they need to like install firewalls they need to install detection systems on the computer they need to they need to install facial id and recognition they need to uh, biometric features they need they need to install ID identification. They need also need to install so many other like let's see. They need to prevent hackers from doing that and like have have like a mini business. You can start a small business and like have like other people contact you saying, "Oh, I need protection on my computer. Oh, I need to restore my computer because it was recently hacked and oh, it was recently hacked." Oh, it was recently hacked, and oh, it was, like, recently hacked, so I need some help, help like, installing, they need help installing antivirus software to do it in firewalls and update their, their operating systems or create, like, antivirus software for them. Let's see, another good way to freelance with, another good way to freelance with, let's see, as a developer or business idea is to fabricate is to help people fabricate computers from from scratch like for example like they to build a they, like nobody doesn't have time to build the computer it doesn't even have time to learn to build the computer so they need to hire like people to like help build them a pc or like any like computers from scratch so like they so like you can have a small business con contract to do it and like they'll call you and like once we, uh, and after you're done like building the compu computer they'll charge you a they'll charge you of money for like the building the computer depending on how much they built and how long it took for for it to build it and like how likely is it going to be like successful with all of that and and all of that so, so like my th my best option is like do it everything from scratch and like prevent like prevent anything from like scratch and all that D prevent any virus damage to the computer another good way to make money on the side and like freelance and developing ideas to teach others how to how to code teaching others how to code because like because like it's easy you just need to teach you just need to just start from the basic and then slowly way moves your way up but like if you plan on teaching others how to code either do it do it like you can either do it in person hybrid times or remote times and if you're doing it remote you can do it anyway or anywhere around the world and like after like and after they taught you it's like basically like private tutoring except it's only teaching you coding rather than like math and computer science rather than math and english just only computer science skills instead of the instead of the basic subjects most people need tutoring with teach and like teaching others how to code let's see see and making money from the side is a really easy and one of the most most let's see e safest ways to get get money from freelancing Another good way to another another good way to make money on the side is to develop and sell sell apps for and to others. For instance, it's basically like a software as a, it could be a software as a service, a game app, a currency converter app, or any basic a basic app on a mobile phone or like a computer. You can you can use and like develop and sell to others. And like by doing that, you can for every download they do. You can either make it a free app with subscriptions and they'll pay you monthly or you can do a paid app with no subscription and they'll pay you everything right there or like for, 
you can have ads on your app and for every app and for every like ad you get on an app ad you get on an app you'll make m money from that from that app and like in the mo and like by making like money on that app you'll like you s develop you'll become is a good it'll be a good project to put on your resume and good work experience to put on your resume